Oh, bow, bow, bow. Okay. Bow, bow, bow. All right, Sammy. How are you, baby girl? I'm good. I'm just chilling. I, <laughs> I think we all. I'm bitch. Oh, okay. I'm just like, okay, it's Friday, and it's like, you know, good thing it's Friday, but we can't do nothing. We can't do anything about it. This, this shit How is this shit is like wild. I know. <laughs> but okay. Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to. Day five, episode of Living for Sis. Today, I'm speaking with the Samantha Williams. Tell, <laughs> tell the girls a little bit about yourself, Sammy. Oh, a little bit about myself. Um, I'm a singer, actor, mover. Um, <laughs> in there. I'm from Texas, but I live in New York. I'm in Texas right now, though. And, yeah. I mean, I'm doing, I did David Hansen, and now I'm doing Carolina Chase. And yes, let's who knows let's what, what the world's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Tim, tell us a little bit about, like, what's going on? Like, where are you at, like, mentally? Like, how are you feeling? How is this, like, how did this affect you? Like, what, like, where are you at? Listen, I was going through it mm-hmm, the mm-hmm, first mm-hmm. week and a half that I was here. Okay. Because I was like, my show got postponed, like, <laughs> Everything was just, like, so tragic. And mm-hmm. I was here at home with my mom. Like, I was like, I'm not supposed to be here. Like, I'm supposed to be yeah. doing my thing. Like, I, yeah. I just got, like, a new apartment. Like, everything was, like, going. And yeah. I had, like, a lot. I was, like, trying to, like, deny, like, fight that this is what it is going to be right now. Right, right. right. And, like, last week I was like, fuck it. Like, I'm just going to, like, accept this for what it is. I'm going to wake up and start my routine. I'm going to go work out. I'm going to go to the park. I'm going to play with my dog, whatever, and, like, really just, like, accept that this is my current situation. Right, right, right. And now I'm happy, and I'm, like, wait yeah. a second, like, this is actually really good. I needed this for yeah, myself, because yeah. I haven't had a break in, like, two, three years, so, like, this is lit. So. Yay, well, I'm glad you've come, come, come full circle to that. Yeah. You know, it's crazy, because that's what I was, um, that's what I was, like, initially, initially, like, um, initially, like, I was like, oh, this is going to be great. Like, you know, this yeah. time, you know, it's going to be perfect. Like, I'll, I'll need this. And now I'm, like, kind of on the other side of it. Because I'm side, like, yeah. what the fuck? And it's, it's just hard because, like, I'm at my mom's house. Like, I'm in Houston, too, but I'm at my mom's house. And it's an apartment complex. And it's, like, kind of far away from, like, yeah. you know, a park or something like that. Mm-hmm. And so, like, I, I just, I, I've been trying to get my walking done and do more stuff, but it's just yeah. hard. I'm feeling so, like, boxed in, like a fucking yeah. parakeet. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's fucking tough. But, 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 you know, this is helping me, you know, so I'm trying to, you know, get out of that. But I yeah. totally feel where you're coming from. Um. So, like, so I guess, like, what, I guess, like, what were you, I guess, hold on, sorry, <laughs> I got this, Get I was like, <laughs> right, 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 let me, okay, let me go to my, you know, my, my, my script, okay, <laughs> so, talking about living versus, from childhood, a lot of us begin our lives learning to live for our parents' approval and the approval of others around us, our peers, teachers, and, or society in general, this comes out of our desire for love and a sense of belonging, we seek love and acceptance from others, which is understandable, eventually, though, we must learn to, to love ourselves and find within us the love, approval, validation, and confidence we've been yearning for. Thus mm-hmm. begins the journey of living for cis. So talking about what living for cis means is not only living for me, cis, but living for the cis inside of you, baby girl. Yes. <laughs> That's what yes. we're trying to figure out. So so today we're going to talk about a little bit, you know, about a lot about about definitions of success and who we are. And we're a lot younger, and you're a lot younger than the past guests that, that I've had. So it'd be a whole different, like, point of view. So I want to talk about that. Yeah. So let's talk about what was slash what is your dream today? Like, and has it evolved from, you know, back then or whatever? Mm. Mm. That's a good question. I feel like it changes. <laughs> <laughs> it changes, like, every day. Right. But, um my like biggest dream my whole life was to be like a fucking Broadway star like I can't even lie to you (laughs) but now you know that like hopefully like in a few months like I'll like feel like I'm sort of doing that I like my dream has changed so like it's just like Mm -hmm. not that anymore like not even the slightest like it's lit like thank god like I'm glad that I'm like checking that off but like there's, I, I think, like, as I get older, like, I'm realizing that there's just so much more. And, like, 
now my dream is like, ooh, like I really like we want like a cute boyfriend one day. <laughs> <laughs> my yes. dreams are a yes. lot more uh <laughs> a lot more like current. Down to earth. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. like that <laughs> term, like but I mean, also, like, I want to be a fucking movie star as well, you know? Yeah, I don't know if I can yeah. be cursing like this, but it's Yes, fine. you can. Um, Bitch, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> fuck <into that. laughs> right. But, like, yeah. you know, like, I, you know, it just, they change all the time. But, uh, yeah, they're a lot more, like, personable dreams. Like, yeah. I feel like I have, like, 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 yes, like, I want to be on Broadway, and I want to be successful, and I want to be you know, I want to, like, be on TV and do all that, and that's, like, one aspect of, like, what I can dream mm -hmm. for, but, like, mm -hmm. I'm learning that there are two sides of a dream, so, like, I yeah. want to have all that, but also yeah, be happy and, like, grounded and, like, exactly. you know, whatever. And I, think, and I think that's the hard thing, because for so long, um, we are, we think of, like, oh, Broadway dreams, like, oh, when I get, a, get to Broadway, when I make it, you know, that's going to be my happiness, but no. it's, it's when sure. just like, it's, it's not, you know, and speaking for some, like someone like you, like, oh, like you, you have done a Broadway show, you've done a Broadway contract, you were in one of the biggest Broadway shows, like, so the fact that, do you find like, so when you did that, were you like, okay, like, were you like, yay, like, but th th was it fleeting or, you know? Yeah, it was like, this is so dramatic. And don't feel, but... yeah, but don't feel also like this is your journey, you know, don't feel no, like, no, no, yeah, oh, I don't want to, yeah. This is, um, you know that song um, from Floor in the Red Menace, it's like, there are no exploding fires, mm, it's the quiet mm. thing. Um, it's like, basically she's talking about how like, this huge success that she's always wanted, mm -hmm. and like, she's like, doesn't really feel, like nothing's mm. like happening, like it's just, yeah, like, oh. yeah. Yeah. Cool. So yeah. I realized, like, doing, like, big theater and stuff like that, it's, like, like, it is, a sh it's, like, so lit. Like, you have, like, your opening night, and it's, like, incredible, and it's, like, yes, like, yeah. this is Broadway. And then the next day, it's, like, oh, like, we're going to do this again. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll do it again. And then yeah. we'll do it again. And then, like, that whole, like, magical, like, spark of broadway is like happens like one time and then mm -hmm. you know but like but not in like a bad way just like yeah you achieve your dream and then like you are you're living it you're living it and yeah. when you live it it's easy for it to just feel like another day but it also like taught me that like no matter what where you what you like no matter where you do theater like it's it's just gonna just feel like theater so like yeah like we were doing Dear Evan Hansen on a Broadway yeah. stage. Yeah. Like, we were also like rolling around on that Broadway stage after the show. Like, we, it was just a yeah. stage. It doesn't, yeah. like, it doesn't really feel any different after that initial performance for me, um, yeah. which is a good thing because then I'm not like yeah. freaked out. So, <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. Wow, wow. Yeah, that's it's that's a lot. A lot of a lot of people have been talking about that, and that's something that's been on my mind a lot recently, especially after, like, moving to the city, like, going there with this big dream in hand, you know, and achieving, like, some of that on the way, and, you know, because I, I haven't made it to what Broadway is, but I've done things that are, like, okay, on a certain scale, and, and having a platform, yeah, and things like sure, that, yeah. and it's interesting that it's, like, okay, like, um, I'm, I'm happy, like, and I'm proud yeah. of my accomplishments, and I'm, I'm proud of how far I've made it, but I'm not what I, where I thought I would be. Like, yeah, I, you know, like the fulfillment. Yeah, yeah, it's different. Like, the fulfillment is much different. And now I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I guess I have to find that inward, and I have to always have that, rather than hoping for a contract or a booking or um, something something to else to give me that validation. I, yeah, that's something yeah. I have to hold in myself. Yeah. Yeah. Something um, I realized is, like, the more I want something – well, not – the more I want something that's not specific – yeah. the harder it is for me to get it. Yes. So, like, if all yeah. I'm looking for is, like, I want to book this so that I can say that I'm booked and, like, whatever. If I don't know what this is and I don't know yeah. what to fight for and I don't I don't exactly. really want it, I just want the validation from other exactly. people. Exactly, exactly. So, oh, exactly. And you also and might – another thing I learned is that, like, no tea, no shade. Like, you can book something so awesome and incredible and then start doing it and realize that it's not what you, you want it. to do. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. it's just, like, you just have to, like, go with the motions, I feel, or something. Yeah, yeah. Damn. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Do you think 
And I want your most honest answer. Do you think money can buy you happiness? Uh, no. I mean, okay. no, no. Absolutely okay, okay. Not. I okay. feel like it can help. In a way. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. it can help. Yeah. It'll make okay. life easier. So it'll make, there'll be less, less like financial problems, sure. Yeah. But like, I mean, I grew, I grew up having two parents as physicians mm -hmm. and like I had, and like I was well off, I think. Right. And right. I had friends who did not have, did not have parents as, as physicians, but their parents weren't fighting. Their parents yeah. weren't divorced. They weren't crying in the room every night. They were happy yeah. with what they had. And I would, I would have rather have grown up with like a happy ass, like, Home, poor family yeah. than yeah. a rich, disconnected family. Right. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. And that's on that. Yeah, and that's on that. You, you, you gave the girls the tea on that one. Okay, I feel that. Um, what are some things in life that you can't live without and people that you can't live without? And what are some things that you have to live without and um, people that you have to live without? And, and let's get a little, let's get messy on that one. You don't have to tell me who, but you can tell me, you know, people that the you can count to that like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, but you gotta go. Yeah. I mean, like, I couldn't live without my, I couldn't live without, like, my mom, mm -hmm. or my brother, mm -hmm. or my mm -hmm. dog. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about your brother for a second? <laughs> ah! Stop! Stop! Okay, 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 we'll talk about so that. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you about that, but everyone, anyway, lo everyone, everyone, is, everyone loves him. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't live without, like, my, like, core family, mm -hmm. my grandma, whatever, but um, also, like, could not live without, like, my my friends from Pace, like some of them, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. they're really cool. Yeah. What, was the, what was the rest of the question? Sorry. Um, <laughs> um, so, what are you, you people you can live without? So, and then what are people you like have to you have to live without? And then what are things that you can can and can't live without? Okay, people like people I can live without. Mm -hmm, without mm -hmm, mm -hmm. emphasize on the out. Yeah, um, <laughs> I can live without. We can live without Trump. Sure. We yeah. have been. Yeah. Um, I can live without, you know, especially in the business, I can live without, like, the condescending, jaded-ass people who mm -hmm. act like being on Broadway is, like, nothing. Like, yeah. Yeah. I, I, there is, like, a level of jadedness that sometimes takes over you because you do it every single day. And, like, I caught myself a few times where I'm like, oh, no, no, no. I'm like, this is yeah, like, yeah, chill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> And there's, like, a level of jadedness and, like, ugh, I hate when, like, that kind of energy is, like, in the theater and in the workplace because mm -hmm. it just, mm -hmm. like, the the gratitude of being there leaves. So yeah. I think people like that I, I could definitely live without. <laughs> wow, wow, yeah. wow. Don't you, hate, don't you hate being young in, like, rehearsal processes or, like, around, like, older people in the theater and they're like, ugh, you're so young, like, this and that, like, you, you, you should be happy and... This and, that. and I'm like, I'm happy, oh, yeah. but also, like, I, this, like, it's not my fault. Like, I'm just, yeah, I'm know, just yeah. here. Like, oh, uh, don't I know it. <laughs> that's always, I, like, an inter been an interesting thing to me. But, yeah. but okay, cool, 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 cool. Let me find another question. Um, how often do you speak to or li and listen to your, like, inner voice? And how, how often do you, like, let your heart be your guide rather than, like, I guess what's right or just going off of, like, what you feel? Yeah. Ooh, my inner voice. Mm -hmm. Like, how often do I listen to it? Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like sometimes it's really loud and sometimes it's just quiet. Uh, yeah. Um, so I, you know, I try to keep it quiet because, you know, mm -hmm. my inner voice is usually, like, lots of anxiety and, like, mm -hmm. you know, putting myself down inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I... I try like to always go with my heart. Like I, I had this before I, I was alone on Broadway, I was offered to be the understudy in the Canadian cast. Mm. My junior, it was like the, it was like in the middle of my junior year. Yeah. And I was like, Oh my God, like, what do I do? But like something in me was like, do not leave school to go to Canada. Like, yeah. like that's not yeah. a good idea. 
Not yeah. saying that like, it's bad to be there. Like that's a lit yeah. thing and understanding yeah. is lit. But like, it just was not. Not for it. your journey. Yeah. Not for yeah. my journey. It just it just didn't feel right. Wow. But I felt I was like, oh my god, am I really about to like say <laughs> no? Like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like hold on. <laughs> big thing. Like, right. Yada, yada. I'd been in the sh in for the show like a billion times. I was like, I don't know. I don't know. And I was going, I'm the most indecisive person, person. I was going back and forth and like, I, I like wasn't eating for a day. Like I was like in my room, like, oh my God, like, what do I do? Yeah. I just like yeah, could not yeah. sleep. It was horrible. And my friend <laughs> texted me and was like, just flip a coin. And if it lands on going to Canada and your heart sinks in a bad way, then you know that you don't want to go and don't go yeah. and like something better will come. Like you're fine. So yeah. I did that, I took a video for proof. It landed on heads, which was Canada. And I was literally like, oh, I Yeah. Wow. And then, yeah, and then that's how I made my decision. And then I told them, and then a month later, I was literally a lot on Broadway, so. What the fuck? <laughs> see, see, that's, that's one of those things that's like, when it's for you, it's going to be for you no yeah. matter what. So I'm glad you listened to your inner voice and you talked to and consulted with her, you know, for, <laughs> you know, wow, that's, damn, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, what, what, what song, like, when you think of, like, music or whatever, like, what song do you, like, turn on for peace and are, like, oh, like, this, this, this song hits, or, like, what food do you like eating? Like, in New York, where do you go eat and be like, oh, I need this meal? You know, to mellow a bitch out after a oh, eight show week, you know. Sure. Okay. What? Okay. What songs are? So. Hey, Drew. Um, I'm sorry. Okay. Broadway <laughs> Rock is here. Whoa. The I'm testimony. Sure. Yes. yes. Okay. So I love, like, I love, like, I mean, I'm, like, half Puerto Rican and half Dominican. So, like, mm -hmm. I will find any, like, source of comfort food that I can, mm -hmm. like. Okay. Oh my god, like honestly my aunt lives in the Bronx and like sometimes mm. like on Sundays I'll just take my ass up there on the train and just yes. she'll just cook for me. Yes. So we have like the plantains, we have the chicken, we have the rice and beans, we have the pastelas, everything you can think of. So good. So I mean yes, go off. Yes. Um, yes. And then a song, oh my god, like I over listened to Lizzo, unfortunately. Okay. Like I like the was I was into Lizzo, but I just I over you. listened to her. I feel you. I feel summer. you. Last time, but right now, um, I'm listening. So John Cariani, <laughs> Sandra, <laughs> John Cariani, who, I mean, incredible mm -hmm. actor. He um, plays the dad in. Um, Carolina Change. Uh, mm -hmm. He made me a playlist of songs because oh, wow. we used to like listen, we used to like exchange music all the time. So mm -hmm. he made me a playlist of songs, and right now I'm listening. And he, on it, there's a lot of Shaka Khan. So right now I'm listening to. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> so that's, okay, so that's, okay. that's me right now, but okay. <laughs> you know I, I go through phases. <laughs> yes, you know it's not right now. I'm listening to Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, yes. Saturday. Love. That's what I'm listening to. Okay, but when we go back, okay, so there's this restaurant. So there's this restaurant that I I like go to like every now and then, like to mm -hmm. mellow me out, and it's like this oxtail spot. Have you ever had oxtails? Oh yes, I love oxtails. Oh my well, god, and it's thing. called burritos. I don't eat red meat, or I'm not, I don't eat red meat, okay. but during this quarantine, okay. okay, I started eating red meat again. It had been, like, three years. Well, just every now and then, okay, well, but, so okay, now, we gotta so go now to I'm like, yeah, stuff. I'll go with you. I'll okay, perfect. Go. Okay, yeah. and it'll be, like, we, hopefully we'll get back, like, right before, okay, so, you know, you can go back into it, you know. Oh, whatever. <laughs> no, we can go. Um, <laughs> but, okay, but, yes, but, okay, I feel that, I feel that, I feel that. Um... Okay, so something I was I I had written up on my little list. See, um, as I said, I feel like we have to make our dreams live for us so that we can grow in them as well instead of living for our dreams. And that's something that I have been, um, that's something has been on my mind a lot lately because I'm like, oh, like like grinding so hard, especially grinding from a place that's like, I don't really, I never really had like people who 
were fostering this dream of mine. Like for me, like when I was in high school and I had to go to rehearsal or whatever, my dad was like, that's your activity. You need to walk. I'm not picking you up. Like you, you gotta, uh, you gotta make this work. Like even yeah. so, so um, even like when I was doing, I did the Tommy tunes, like yeah. in 2015, the year, like I was graduating from high school. I had to like find a ride every day, like every day. Like wow. I was like literally 30, I was in spring. So like, you know, like spring in the Woodlands area. So I yeah. was like, ha like, it, but, but, but somehow like God was making it happen. Happy. But at that moment I was really living for my dreams. And thankfully, like I was fulfilled in that way. But now that drive that I have, it, there's so much more going on. Yeah. So it's like, I'm, I'm living for my dreams and my dreams aren't living for me in a way. Yeah. So how do you like, how do you co combat that? And how do you realize that, yes, like I want to do this, this and this, but I'm not going to live for that. That's going to live for me. Yes. Yeah. I think, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think that like, that just like goes back to like, to like, not doing this for validation okay. yeah. and like making sure that the dream is 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 for you not yeah. for like what you think should be for you if that right. you know like truly right. like wanting that um and also just trusting like the process like if the dream is not living for you and you're not living for the dream, then that's not the dream right now. Right, you know what I mean? Right. And there will be, an, and there's another one in the back of your head that you haven't even realized it because right. you're so stuck on a different dream that isn't even a thing anymore because you don't want it. Exactly. Um, and then also acknowledging that like we go through phases with our dreams. I feel like mm -hmm. it's, I mean, I don't know if you felt this, but in theater school, like, there were days. There were days where I was like, "Do I want to do music? Like, do I like yeah. this?" Yeah. Because like yeah, this, yeah. it feels. Because there are moments where it starts to feel more like stress. Yes. Than it does like a dream and a passion. Right. And right, right. just like reminding that I always have to remind myself that like where I am is what I once wanted, even if it's not what I wanted want right now. To like right, right. Keep the gratitude. So like, yeah, I feel like when things aren't working out, you just gotta just like trust that they will. Right. Okay. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you. I needed that. Um, I, no, I know. No. I, I'm saying it's all for me. I'm like, right. I'm like you, but I'm talking to me. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking it too. Okay. What do, you, what do you think is like a recipe for success? Like even one ingredient maybe. Like what are some things for you? Yeah. Um, I think recipe never taking no as an answer. Like mm -hmm. you just got it. Like you just got to fucking like that like you just cannot right. accept that right being so overly prepared for everything that you do even if mm -hmm. it's small even if like like even if it's like a little thing like just being so overly prepared for everything so that like wow. it will be successful like it like if you like chart it out scientifically like it has to be successful because you prepared so much Right, um, right. That's probably right. like my biggest thing. Like I'm always known as being just like so overly prepared for everything. But like it's just yeah. like how you're good, I feel. I'm starting to learn that now too. I'm like that's like the the main thing is like Yeah, preparation. Because yeah. like hard work, like everyone's talented. So like literally like the people who get the jobs are the people that work harder. The people who come in with something a little more creative than the last person just because mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Um, so prepping for, like, talking a little bit, just a little bit about Caroline Sands, like, prepping for that, like, about to play this lead role, like, this this role that a lot of, like, this Tony award-winning role, like, how are, how, how, how do you, how did that make you feel? How are you, how did you go about it, you know? Like, being, <laughs> being, being as young as, like, we are, like, and, and in my eyes, I'm, like, Sam did it. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you. Like, and to know that, like, we've come from the same place. I'm like, yes. wow. Yeah. It's crazy. Like, it I don't is. even, yeah, I just, like, it's crazy. Even, like, Anika Nani Rose was, like, 31 when she played the role. I was like, what? Oh, I had yeah. no idea. Yeah, so it's, it's really crazy. But, um, honestly, like, it feels like, when I first, like, got it, I was like, oh, shit, like, this is crazy. <laughs> like, literally, I, they had to tell me that I, that it was true, like, 80 times. So I was like, I, was like, I don't believe you. Like, say it again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> say it again. Say it again. Literally, yes. that was me. That was literally me. Yes. Yes. But, I mean, it's just, like, I, t I take it with so much honor. But I also don't treat it, I don't treat it, like, 
delicately like I attack mm-hmm. it because it's mine mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. um and I think that's like something that like is hard to do and like especially for a revival is to like claim that it's like okay yeah it's cool that I I booked it like whatever but like now it's mine and I'm gonna like do it how I want to do it you know exactly, exactly and like serve exactly. people um so yeah just it's fucking crazy it's lit but like I'm yeah. doing it so I'm so proud of you. Like, <laughs> I don't now, know what that I is. I cannot wait. No, I told you, I, 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 I took it, and I'm sure the girls did too, but I'm so proud of you. But um, also, so so talking about that, who is somebody that is successful that you look up to and kind of like, you? if there's one thing that you notice from them, you take and you're like, okay, like, like I, I'm going to walk in my stripe with that because I mm. because I like that. What is something like that? Yeah. Um, who is something like that? Sorry. Who is someone like that? And um, it can be anybody. It don't have to be like a Broadway bitch. It can be, you know, like family, yeah. somebody, yeah. Yeah, I feel like I have a few. Like Broadway, obviously, like Audrey McDonald, like so much grace. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Um, And then, like, someone who's also on Broadway, but, like, is a, a friend, Casey Levy, like, Elsa. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Like, yeah, She's yeah. in the show with me, too. And, like, she is just so, like... I don't even know how to say it. Like she's literally so like warm and mm. and real and like just like a like a friend, like a yeah, colleague. Yeah. Even yeah. though she's done like so many amazing things, but like a com- commonality between the two is that they're just such like warm, kind people, and they're successful. And I think that's really hard to find, especially okay. in the arts, because it's easy to like you know be a little bitch. But um, yeah. <laughs> they're, like, the opposite of that. And, like, still strong, still, like, if they want something, they're going to, like, get it. But mm-hmm. still, like, with this, like, layer of grace yeah. and humility that I hope to always, like, have. So it's really, yeah. Wow. Yes. I can talk to you for hours. Girl, I love this. <laughs> um, what is what is a, an amazing great lesson that you learned as a child that you think that has shaped you today or something you just like a reference that always like keeps you intact and keeps you right here yeah um i think a good lesson is to not get ahead of yourself mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so like just like try like just trying my best to always stay like present and what i'm doing Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. not really like like focus too much on the future or on the yeah. past like just like yeah. staying in like my current like what I'm doing right and I, I feel like that helps me as a person and it helps me as an actor because I'm not thinking about anything else except my other person right and the moment that we're in in the moment you know so just right. staying right. present and not getting ahead of myself wow yeah. what, is, what is the fun like when, when, when you're like like what? What brings you the most joy and happiness? And like, you know, you get a, a little ghetto. It's like, what is what? What is that for you? <laughs> I'm I'm ghetto backstage. Yeah. Like, if you're gonna <laughs> show with me, like I'm ratchet. Like I'm okay. horrible. I'm professional. Like bad. <laughs> <laughs> like in a good, in a good, like in a funny, like yes. like during yeah. the show, like oh my god, like backstage, yes. like. We were in tech, like we weren't even like we were doing runs of the show in tech. Like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we weren't we weren't allowed to be having that kind of fun yet, but yeah, we were yeah. already there. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Um, but yeah, I think like the backstage like camaraderie and like that, mm-hmm. like that is really what like like when people come backstage, like even like when I did, like when people yeah. come backstage of a Broadway mm-hmm. show and they're like, they're like, oh my god, like this is so cool, like. What they really want to see is like the camaraderie between yeah. the cast, which yeah. is like not there unless you're. Yeah. So like, yeah. Yeah. I like just love like that's like my favorite part about like getting like into like a new cast, like into like whatever is just like how much fun like I remember like my fight scene with Chip Sign like mm-hmm. he's like he played he's the original Baker in Into the Woods he's like older oh, older gosh. man. And he's, like, my scene partner. Yeah. And he's also the funniest person to exist on the planet. And we have to yell at each other. Not yell, but, like, we're, like, arguing about the same thing, but we're, like, arguing. He's, like, this white, foolish man, and I'm a black young girl. And it's supposed to be really serious, but (laughs) 
some reason, one day, we all had the giggles, and we just, like, couldn't even look at each other and do the scene. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. We were laughing. And, yeah. like, I think that is what makes theater good, and that is what, like, that's, like, that's those are the memories that you remember because you're gonna do a thousand of the of the same show, but it's like those right. moments, like in rehearsal and like backstage, that like those ratchet ass moments that like make it fun and make it worthwhile. Right. So right, yay. Okay, was well, there anything else you want to talk about? Tell the people at home. Yes, <laughs> listen, I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am sorry. This was this was one of my favorite thus 